Hello, good morning, good afternoon church. Uh, this is your Pastor Dexter speaking and um, today I'm just going to show you how we can record digitally our music and stuff so that you can pass it on to um, our worship director. I in, um, I specifically created this video, especially in the during this lockdown, coronavirus, and all these things, because we've been having um, problem in um, incorporating all the worship team to be able to, be able to play together um, as a team, but um, while staying in their own houses. And uh, if you're watching this as well, because um, you're wondering how you can do this in your own church, then this is a tutorial for you. I tried to search on the web on um, how I can help um, um, my team and people like you as well who's listening here um, to um, be able to record um, things digitally and be able to pass it on to your worship director or whoever is editing your videos uh, by just having to um, cost you less than £10. So if you're ready, this is what I've come up with. Now, so um, I bump into this thing, it's called the iRig. iRig. Yes, um, this is not a promotion for the iRig, but it, it, it has blessed us, and if it has blessed us, I hope that they will be blessed as well, because I think that this is a blessing. If you're trying to find a, a cheap way, I don't normally um, like to use the word cheap, because it comes as cheap, but affordable way for you to be able to record digitally and pass it on to your worship team or to your worship director by just costing you £10. Of course, you have to have your guitars and, and amps if you have amps and stuff like that but uh, and cables, but you don't have to buy anything new, just this one and you should be able to uh, record yourself. Okay, so are you ready? The first thing that you need to do is to download GarageBand if you've got an iPhone and I'm sorry if you are using an Android um, I haven't explored into this area yet but I'm sure there's some applications as well that you can use for the iRig but for this um, video purposes and most of us are using iPhones anyway I think um, and um, it's going to be easier for us Amen? Okay so uh, First, you have to download the um, garage band. I'm going to okay, now this is um, my phone and this is the garage band. Um, you can have to download it first if you haven't already, and it's free. But if you want to unlock many of the features, like different apps and stuff like that, then you just have to pay $4.99. But um, you don't have to do that because um, what is in there already is enough for you to be able to record digitally. Um, of course, for the new iPhones, um, they don't have this plug anymore. Yeah, um, it's because uh, because they only come with a lightning um, interface or lightning ch uh, cable like this. So what you need to do is, of course, um, you need to have this, which is okay. If you need to buy this again, it's it's, it's going to be I think fifteen pounds, but. Um, I'm hoping that you have a um, an iPad mini for example an iPad or if you have an older phone then this works better for you but um, unfortunately for the newer phones they don't have um, the jack so you need this adapter so um, okay now I know that you're excited to um, record now this is going to be your first um, recording <laughs> um, click the garage band and this is the app that I I was telling you and it's free if you want to unlock the other features like um, amps and guitar pedals and stuff like that you you, you pay four ninety nine, I think but you don't need to do that okay so this is what you're gonna meet like recents and browse um, once you have some recordings it will show here but I haven't got any so click plus and this is gonna be the first recording that you're gonna be doing so there's an option here, I know that you can't read it too much because it's not HD, um, the one that I'm trying to, it's not capture screen or anything. Uh, yeah, so this voice, instrument and more sounds, click the instruments. Okay, once you're in here, click the monitor on, alright. And then after clicking the monitor on, click this plus sign, alright. After you click the plus sign, the sections of the dif different sections of the song, click the section A. Um, 
and then click it to automatic alright this is quite important because if you click it to manual and stuff like that um, you you'd be surprised that um, while you're recording it suddenly stopped because you didn't set the proper and appropriate um, number of powers and stuff so for you not to have that kind of mistake just click automatic and it detects it for you alright and then done there you go you're almost ready to re f record but before you do that just in case you're doing the first uh, recording like the reference layer what we call it um, you have to be on time because everyone else is going to be recording on top of your recording isn't it so make sure that you are on time so click the um, wheel button there there's the settings and then there's track controls and song settings go to song settings and then click to tempo and I'm gonna be setting it to 65 that's what I want to record with and then that's it I'm quite happy uh, if you've noticed go back here again there's time signature there as well make sure that you're on 4 4 if you're doing a time signature 4 4 the key signature is when you're using a um, smart instrument uh, which um, it doesn't count at this time alright so we're nearly ready um, when I click that red button it will give you a count um, this is where it's coming from the metronome count in and so count in you can have the option of not to count in and visual option if you if it's too disturbing in the screen yeah I think we'll take that off and then these are the the, the clicks that you're gonna be hearing wood block hi-hat rim shot no sound alright so let's do the click that's it we're happy to record alright so click the record okay so that's the first layer then of course you click stop and then it stops now if you want to check your recording click this one you know there's like a brick um, kind of a pattern and then there you go that is your first layer of recording from guitar and you can listen to it of course you won't be able to pick up my my, my singing just the guitar Maybe you're wondering why is it just straight line instead of wiggly bit? It's because my guitar is set into just into the middle. Um, that is the okay. That is the setting that I have if I'm playing live. But if you're recording through the garage band, it seems that it picks it up a little bit softer. So what you need to do is you need to crank up the volume a little bit if you're playing acoustic. I'm not sure about electric guitar. We're going to try it later on. And um, and then you can see a wiggly bit because this now one, you, if you want to record another layer on top of the one that you've recorded already, you're going to be playing along with that. Then press the plus press the plus button, and then yeah, so you can choose different kind of instruments in that case. But let's just stick it to simple things. So instruments again, and I'm going to be okay. Turn the monitor on. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Fender Strat, Stratocaster. This is the reverb. It's a nice sound actually. Not bad. And then you're listening from the um, bass amp as well. Alright, so ready to record. From the beginning. start to export and uh, and send it to, um, to your editor okay just one more um, instrument again 
uh, this is always off for some reason so you have to turn it on every time you select a new device or a new instrument and then we're going to click record alright now we're going to add um, one last bit maybe drum for example um, for those drummers or for you Basti or somebody else who's going to be drumming soon um, this is how we're going to record as well alright so choose another device of course you go to there to the track that we have and then click plus I'm going to click instrument again because we're going to be plugging in our and then remove the reverb test it okay so make sure that you turn the monitor on so that you can hear it all right yeah so i plug it into this machine if you can see uh, this is what we've got in here just a yamaha dtx um any other drum instrument that you have i'm sure it will work all right so uh, let's go back to there bad comments about my um, playing all right <laughs> this is just a demo okay I know that you um, if I can do these things I would have just done it by myself actually that's why I'm doing this tutorial so that um, yeah the different the musicians um, that we have in the church will be able to um, um, yeah so contribute uh, to what we're doing every Sunday so yeah let's turn it off now and now we're going to um, the processing and sending okay to our to our um, video editor and um, of course you can also continue to record your own stuff if um, you're watching this not because um, uh, you're part of the church but because you wanted to um, make um, use of a garage band in the iRig then uh, yeah you can explore how to um, record and publish or whatever all right um okay now we're going to learn how to share the files so click this arrow and then go to my songs and this is the one that you just created and you either click the plus sign oh no sorry um don't worry don't do the option now just just toggle it and then go to share yep and then it comes with these three options as a song, as a ringtone, as a project. So you can even use it as a ringtone. Isn't that amazing? Uh, so just click the song and then I think I will recommend you to send it to Nuts as a WAV file so that um, it will be uncompressed. Um, so click WAV file and then share. And then of course you have the options on where you're going to send it. Um, if I'm going to send it to my email, for example. There you go, Rachel. And I'm going to download that one. And let's see what we come up with. Show in a folder. Okay, so it says my song. Maybe you can rename it. Okay, there you go, worship team. So I hope that you learned something today. So um, um, you're ready to export your digital files. We're waiting for you. God bless you. Bye bye.